if you take your life, you can be there with him. And that is, yeah. I mean, that's truth. I believe that when I die, I'm going. In a shocking turn of events, the entertainment world mourns the unexpected passing of a Grammy Award winner and American Idol contestant Mendisa. With hearts heavy and disbelief echoing across fans and industry peers alike, news of the untimely death has sent shockwaves through the entertainment community. Mandisa has died at the age of 47. The singer competed on the fifth season of the popular talent show, finishing in ninth place. After that, she went on to have a celebrated career in Christian music. A statement released on Mandisa's Facebook page revealed that she was found dead in her home on April 18. Mandisa was a voice of encouragement and truth to people facing life's challenges all around the world. The post concluded with some of her own lyrics. I'm already home slash you've got to lay it down slash cause Jesus holds me now, and I am not alone. In a 2017 interview with ABC News, Mandisa opened up about her struggles with depression, saying that she contemplated suicide. Mandisa Born Mandisa Lynn Hundley on October 2, 1976, in Citrus Heights, California, is a contemporary Christian music singer known for her powerful vocals and uplifting lyrics. Mandisa, the Grammy-nominated contemporary Christian music singer, has faced significant life tragedies throughout her journey. Despite these challenges, she has demonstrated resilience and faith, inspiring many with her story. One of the most notable tragedies in Mandisa's life was the loss of her dear friend and former American Idol contestant, Leah LaBelle, in a tragic car accident in 2018. Mandisa openly shared her grief and the impact of Leah's passing on her life, expressing the deep sorrow she experienced. Losing a close friend can be incredibly difficult, and Mandisa's public mourning highlighted the depth of her emotions and the strength it takes to cope with such a loss. Another significant challenge in Mandisa's life has been her ongoing battle with weight and body image issues. Throughout her career, she has been transparent about her struggles with obesity and the emotional toll it has taken on her self-esteem and mental health. Mandisa has openly discussed her journey towards self-acceptance and body positivity, inspiring others to embrace their bodies and prioritize their mental and emotional well-being. In addition to these personal struggles, Mandisa has also faced professional setbacks and disappointments. Despite achieving success as a recording artist, she has experienced moments of doubt and uncertainty in her career. Like many artists, Mandisa has encountered criticism and rejection along the way, but she has remained steadfast in her faith and commitment to her music. Through all of life's tragedies and challenges, Mandisa has leaned on her faith as a source of strength and hope. She has openly shared her journey with her fans, using her platform to spread messages of encouragement, resilience, and faith. Mandisa's ability to navigate adversity with grace and authenticity has endeared her to audiences around the world, making her not only a talented artist, but also a beacon of hope for those facing their own struggles. Mandisa rose to prominence as a contestant on the fifth season of American Idol in 2006. Her captivating performances and powerhouse voice captivated audiences and earned her a spot among the top finalists. Despite facing criticism from then-judge Simon Cowell about her weight, Mandisa remained confident and continued to deliver standout performances, winning the hearts of viewers across the nation. After her time on American Idol, Mandisa embarked on a successful music career, releasing her debut album True Beauty in 2007. The album featured uplifting songs that reflected Mandisa's journey towards self-acceptance and inner beauty. One of the standout tracks from the album was True Beauty, which encouraged listeners to embrace their uniqueness and value as individuals. In 2009, Mandisa released her second album, Freedom, which showcased her growth as an artist and her commitment to spreading messages of hope and empowerment. The album's lead single, My Deliverer, became a chart-topping hit and resonated with audiences with its powerful lyrics about finding strength and salvation in difficult times. Mandisa's career continued to soar with the release of her third album, What If We Were Real, in 2011. 
The album featured a blend of pop and contemporary Christian music, with tracks like Stronger and Good Morning becoming anthems of resilience and faith for listeners around the world. Stronger, in particular, struck a chord with audiences, earning Mandisa a Grammy Award for Best Contemporary Christian Music Album in 2013. Following the success of What If We Were Real, Mandisa released several more albums, including Overcomer, 2013, Out of the Dark, 2017, and Overcomer, The Greatest Hits, 2017. Each album showcased Mandisa's versatility as an artist and her ability to connect with listeners on a deep and personal level. Throughout her career, Mandisa has used her platform to share her faith and inspire others to overcome life's challenges. Her music is not only a reflection of her own journey, but also a source of comfort and encouragement for her fans. With her powerful voice and uplifting message, Mandisa continues to make a lasting impact on the world of contemporary Christian music. In the shocking CBN interview, Mandisa also dropped the bombshell that when she was 16 years old, she was raped. When that happened at 16, it was like a floodgate opened. I started to eat and eat and eat. I think I was sort of shielding myself off from anybody else that could harm me. The singer said that she has been able to forgive her attacker. KIS radio host Keith Stevens paid tribute to Mandisa calling her a major influence on his life. I am deeply saddened to share with you that Christian artist Mandisa has passed away at her home in Nashville. She was a major influence in my life and yours, and all of us at KTIS. She performed at so many KTIS events, and perhaps you were there, he said. Today, our lives feel this great loss. Please pray for her family. We love you, Mandissa. Thank you for blessing our lives and shining the light of Jesus in everything you did, he went on. Here are some of Mandissa's notable songs along with the stories behind them. Overcomer. This empowering anthem, released in 2013, was inspired by Mandissa's own struggles with weight and body image. The song encourages listeners to persevere through adversity and embrace their inner strength. Good Morning. Featured on her album, what if we were real? This upbeat track serves as a reminder to start each day with gratitude and positivity, regardless of life's challenges. Stronger. A standout single from her album of the same name, Stronger, is a powerful declaration of resilience and faith in the face of adversity. The song became a chart-topping hit and earned Mandissa critical acclaim for its empowering message. My Deliverer. This soul-stirring song, Featured on her album, Freedom, reflects on God's faithfulness and ability to deliver us from life's trials. The powerful lyrics resonate with listeners who find comfort and strength in their faith. Bleed the Same, featuring Toby Mac and Kirk Franklin. Released in 2017 on her album, Out of the Dark, this collaboration with Toby Mac and Kirk Franklin emphasizes the importance of unity and love in a divided world. The song's message of acceptance and compassion struck a chord with audiences and became a rallying cry for social justice. These songs, along with many others in Mandisa's discography, serve as a testament to her talent as an artist and her unwavering commitment to spreading messages of hope, faith, and love through her music.